For today's kitchen conundrum, we're tackling the scrambled egg. Do your eggs come out like this, dry and crumbly, not very appetizing? Do you want soft and fluffy eggs like this? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and it's really, really easy. It's really a matter of temperature. I'm gonna start with farm fresh eggs. I'm using three eggs here. You can tell they're farm fresh because the yolk is so orange. And to incorporate a little bit of air, which helps in creating a fluffy scrambled egg, give them a really generous whisk. I like to use a fork and then season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I like to season here as opposed to later so that the salt and the pepper, the seasoning is evenly distributed throughout the egg. Now you can see there's no yolk and white separation. It's nice and combined. And I have a small nonstick skillet here on low heat. Low heat is very important. If you cook your scrambled eggs on high heat, what it does is it pulls out the moisture from the egg and it gives you something that's really dry and crumbly. So a tablespoon of butter, swirl that around the pan. And even before the butter is completely melted, you can add your eggs. Now, this is what you do. Slowly pull in from the sides, taking some of the cooked egg and pushing it towards the middle. And this gentle stirring creates a really fluffy egg. Don't stir too much, because then you're gonna get really small curds. So I'm using an eight inch nonstick skillet Try to use something that's appropriately sized. If your pan is too large, your eggs will dry out even more because they'll be in a thin layer. Now, when scrambled eggs are made the right way, they're light and creamy all on their own. When you add cheese, milk, or any dairy, it adds moisture, which separates during cooking and will give you a wet, overcooked egg. So the trick to scrambled eggs is knowing when to pull them off the heat. The scrambled eggs will continue to cook off the heat, so you wanna make sure you pull them before they're completely done. So take them off the heat and gently place them on your plate. I like to garnish with a little bit of herb. You can serve this with some toast. And there you have it, perfectly scrambled eggs that are great for any breakfast. And speaking of breakfast, if you have any breakfast conundrums that need to be solved, comment in the section below or use the hashtag kitchen conundrums and I will solve your problem. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do you have a kitchen conundrum that you need solved? Well, if you do, write in the comment section below. And as always, click subscribe.